Hey everyone, I'm Pastor Amy and welcome to Full Armor Kids. I'm so excited to be with you guys tonight. We are on week two of Kid ID and tonight we are talking about how I am famous because God knows me. Guys, we've got a great service for you, so go ahead and stand up and let's worship together. Maurice. I'm in the hub? I thought I was over the kitchen. Oh, were you checking out the air ducts again? Yeah, but I keep getting lost in that maze up there. Once I'm in the ducts, I have no idea where I am. Well, I wish we could help, but we just got this postcard and need to find an answer. Oh, I get it. You've got your job to do. Besides, I doubt I could find anyone willing to stare at the ceiling all day. Did somebody say stare at the ceiling all day? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. 
We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is the time Mike got a bump on his head. And all I need you to do is to guide me from the outside. Well, I'm your man. One time I looked up for 12 hours without looking down. Oh, are we having a looking up contest? Who's winning? Well, anyone can look up. But can you look up without bumping into anything? Try it. Such talent. I know. I was born with an innate ability to keep myself safe while I go. Bottom of the stairs. Yeah, they broke my fall. What happened in here? Oh. Mike broke code 7639. He drove a Zamboni in the hub? No! What code is not paying attention to where you're walking? 7633. Mm. Yes, he is correct. That's a 7633. Indubitably, sir. Sorry, Luke. He fell while he was helping me with the air ducts. Actually, the fault does not lie in the stairs, but in ourselves. What? It would behoove me to replace my electrolytes, would it not? Yes, it would not. I mean, no, it would. I mean, I don't know how to answer that question. He's talking funny. He always talks funny. No, not funny. Funny. That's funny. You okay, Mike? Uh, call me Michael. And, uh, absolutely. It's just an abrasion. I'm in no danger of sustaining a diffuse exonal injury. Maybe you should finish your juice and come back when you're ready. We'll take care of things around here. Is that cool? It's absolutely cool. Uh, the sun has passed its zenith. And as our little patch of earth rotates away, it will progressively get cooler. Oh, uh, yes, it's cool. While Mike is resting, I need your help with this postcard. Hey, Connect HQ. I feel invisible at school and at home. Like, if I disappeared, no one would notice. No one really knows me. What should I do? From Jacob. Honestly, I feel that way sometimes, too. Like, I'm not noticeable in any way. Yeah, we can all feel that way sometimes. But that's not true. When we get to know God, we learn the truth about who we are from the Bible. I'm famous because God knows me. That sounds like a great point link. <laughs> the point link is, I am famous because God knows me. Point link acquired. Oh, congratulations, huzzah. Oh, good job on your acquisition, Dorothy. Where did you get those glasses? Oh, I made an acquisition of my own. Oh, I get it. You're playing a game. I want to play too. Let me try on those glasses, Mike. Uh, it's Michael, and I can assure you it is not a game. I don't have time for games. First of all, uh, have either of you seen Maurice? Yeah, I think he's up in the air ducts in the observatory. Fantastic, brilliant, absolutely. Uh, anyways, uh, also, I noticed that there wasn't a proper recycling receptacle for my juice box, so I went ahead and made one. Anyways, good day. That was responsible? And out of character. I think I like the new mic. <laughs> hmm. now, if I reroute that cable over there, and if I move that there, carry the three... My good man, while incapacitated, I assessed your task and I wondered if you considered the higher velocity during heavy usage. Actually, now that you mention it, I didn't. Hmm, rookie mistake. I... Uh, I made you the schematic. You're familiar with the word, are you not? Uh, yes, I am. I mean, no, I am? 
I'm not sure. Well, I drew you a diagram and or map to help you navigate the ducks while you're up there. Wow, thanks, Mike. It's Michael. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some light reading to attend to. Good day. It is. It is a good day. Wow, the recycling bin is now recyclable. Michael thought of everything. I'm concerned about Mike. Well, it has been really nice having him around to help out. I guess. I just, I like the old Mike. He's fun. I know him. You know, that could help Jacob out with his problem. Do you think so? God knows us. The Bible tells us so in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5. Say it like this. Okay. Jeremiah 1, 5. Jeremiah 1, 5. I knew you before I formed you. I knew you before I formed you. In your mother's womb. In your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart. Before you were born, I set you apart. I see what you're saying. Jacob isn't invisible. We can show him he isn't unknown because God knows him. Yes, exactly. In fact, he already knew him when he was in his mother's belly. He formed him. God already knew the special way you and I could serve him before we were even born. That's amazing. Yeah. The verse link is Jeremiah 1.5. Verse link acquired. You know, I think we should go check on Mike. I wonder if I could harness nuclear power for this, for this uh, tower here. Hmm, that would be a liability. Hey, Mike. Yes. Michael. Yes. yes. Good day to you, sir, <laughs> and bonjour. What are you reading? Well, I'm doing a bit of light reading, actually. This one is in Latin, and this one is in Greek. I seem to struggle more with the Greek. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Mike! Oh, <laughs> I'm uh, worried about that bump you got on your head. No need to worry. I'm fit as a fiddle, actually. My intelligence has increased to tenfold. Which, for example, I was contemplating the uh, point that I heard you capture earlier. I am famous because God knows me. That's right. Yes. And it reminded me of a Bible story. The one where Jesus called upon his disciple, Nathaniel. Pertinent, is it not? Yes, it isn't. I mean, no, it is. I mean... Is there a right way to answer those? There is. How about we watch a Bible story and see if my hunch is correct? May I? This is a 66 pick mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let us know up all the pages that this show gone on. Let us world explode from this video into your life. Jesus walked from town to town and across the countryside. Along the way, he asked men to join him mm -hmm. and travel around, telling people about God and how to know him. Mm -hmm. These men were called disciples. One day, Jesus decided to go to a town called Galilee. When he got there, he ran into a guy named Philip. Jesus asked Philip to follow him. Philip was so excited. He ran to tell his friend Nathaniel about it. He found Nathaniel sitting under a fig tree all alone. Nathaniel, you won't believe this. You know that guy that Moses and all the prophets talked about? <laughs> we found him. Well, I, I, I mean, he found us. His name is Jesus, and he's from Nazareth. Now, Nathaniel was a very good man and a smart one, too. But he didn't always believe everything he heard. Nazareth? That old place? 
You really think the man that Moses and the prophets spoke about could come from Nazareth? <laughs> Get out of here. Nathaniel, you gotta meet this guy. You'll see what I mean. Come on, I'll introduce you. Besides, <laughs> it's not like you're doing anything better sitting under this fig tree. Aren't you bored? Hey, it's not so bad. I like the figs. Besides, what's it to you? What have you got to lose? Come on, see for yourself. <sighs> Whatever. I'll go with you this time. So Philip and Nathaniel went to find Jesus. As they got close, Jesus called out. Ah, here's a true man who always knows the right thing to do and does it. Are you talking about me? Yes, Nathaniel, you. Have I met you? Hey, wait a minute. I know I've never met you. How do you know about me? I saw you sitting under that fig tree before Philip found you. But, but I was alone. Wait, you knew me before you even saw me? You are the son of God. You believe that just because I knew you before I met you? Well, Nathaniel, get ready. That's nothing compared to the great things you're going to see. We're going to make history together. Follow me. Hey, guys, are you hungry? I got some figs in my pocket. Yeah, have one. Before he even met Nathaniel, Jesus knew all about him. He was famous because God knew him. Yeah, that is the perfect Bible link to help Jacob with his problems. You did good work, Michael. Thank you. Well, perhaps after I'm done my little bit of light reading, we can all go get a tuna fish sandwich. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, you mean, you mean a gummy bear sandwich. Huh. Who in their right mind would put gummy bears on a sandwich? <laughs> oh, tickle me. I'm going to make him eat this gummy bear sandwich until he remembers who he is. Guys, you've got to do something about Mike or Michael or whoever. What? <laughs> Pretty awesome, huh? He keeps coming down, acting like he knows tech and tools better than the guy in the tech and tools group. I miss the Mike who plays goofy games with me. And I miss the Mike who quacks a lot when I ask him to pass me the duct tape. I miss the Mike who eats weird things. He's our friend. We know him. You're right, Dot. You finish making that sandwich, and let's get our friend back. Ah, Maurice, I was just observing that you have not properly secured the uh, vents. Mike. Yes, uh, it's Michael, by the way. We made you a gummy bear sandwich, buddy. Ugh, it looks as vile as it sounds. Look. We like Michael a lot, and he's helped out a ton. Quite a bit. Yeah, but old Mike, he, see, he was very messy, if I'm being honest. But, but in a charming way. And he was, he is really funny and so kind to others. He loves people. But we love our old Mike. He is our friend. He's, he's our Mike. This plain Mike fellow seems like a diamond in the rough, and. Obviously, he is unaware that he inspires such affection in others. It's very, very touching. But I neither care for bread nor candy, so I wish him well, but he is not I. I am so Michael, sorry! Michael, 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 Michael. Michael? It's Mike, and what is this? Mike! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Oh, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back, what do you mean? I've been here the whole time. Huh. Looks like the duct tape came loose. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody got dibs on that sandwich? Well, it's all yours, pal. <gasps> here you go. Now, you can't just dive in. There's a process, you gotta... I do. <gasps> Hi, I'm Dot, and I'm part of Connect HQ. We found an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1, 5. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart. God already knew you before you were a baby in your mother's belly. Before you were even born, God knew the special way you could serve him with your life. 
Isn't that amazing? Just like Nathaniel sitting under the fig tree, Jesus sees us, he knows us, and he has great things planned for us. You know, when Mike was Michael, we realized how much we knew the real Mike, how much we loved him, and that helped me see how much God knows me, how much God loves me. I don't ever have to feel unknown. You don't ever have to feel invisible or unknown either. When you get to know God, you learn the truth about who you are from the Bible. I am famous because God knows me. Thanks for the question, Jacob. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Hey guys, it's Miss Stasa, and today's main point from our lesson was, I am famous because God knows me. Our main verse with it was Jeremiah 1, 5. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart. Have a good week, guys. Hey everybody, Pastor Declan here, and welcome to our small group portion of today's lesson. So get mom and dad and brother and sister, and let's sit down together and talk about small group stuff. All right, question number one. What's the best way to find out the truth about who you are? Question number two, when did God know us and plan for us to be special? Question number three, what do you think about the fact that God knew you before he made you? Question number four, do you ever feel like no one really knows you? And what makes you feel that way? And question number five, God knows you and wants you to know him. What do you think you can do this week to get to know God better? All right, guys, that was it for small groups today. We love you guys. We miss you. We can't wait to see you again. And don't forget to check out our Full Armor Kids Instagram and Facebook page by searching Full Armor Kids for more fun videos and challenges and all sorts of cool stuff. See you guys next time.